Thank you so much for watching the unboxing on the Sony Xperia XE Premium. Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. I am super stoked, super excited to be able to bring in this device. It's a device that I've been intrigued with for some time. I have this web page pulled up from Android Central. Originally back in June, this was the price point at Amazon and Best Buy, $7.99. I picked up the Sony Xperia XE Premium at Best Buy for $5.49. That is an amazing drop in price. That's 250 smacks. It is worth it for me. I've been waiting for this moment. I didn't know if it would happen. It did. This was low enough for me to jump at this device. And if it goes even lower, I got until January 31st for Best Buy to match that price. So if it drops another 50 or 100 smacks, I get that money back all the way up until January 31st so super stoked about that wanted to show you the original price point back in June man I just had so many other plans with other smartphones and the price point was too high I just couldn't do it at the time but at 550 smacks Wow 5.46 inch triluminous IPS LCD display yeah, it's not 5.5. It's almost there. It's almost there. Front dual speakers. I can't wait to hear what those sound like. It's just a beauty. Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back. You got a 19 megapixel shooter on the back. You got EIS, electronic image stabilization, on the front. You have a 13 megapixel shooter. Now I'm gonna tell you something about Sony devices and their cameras, front or back. When it comes to taking pics, shooting video, thumbs up, man, totally, totally. I have not been disappointed by any Sony device that I've had in hand when taking pics, shooting video. On the right-hand side, got a power button there. It's a little dipped in there. Feels really nice, nice and responsive. It's not loose at all, right above that. Let me go into here. You got your volume rocker. Up top, headphone jack, mic. Down below, mic, USB type C, 3.0, quick charge, fast charge. No wireless charging, 
but yes, we do have IP68 water resistance. There's a lot going on here. 32, 30 milliamp battery should be efficient when it comes to battery life, as long as everything is well optimized. We don't have a lot of apps in here. It's pretty much stock. You have some Sony going on here, but not a whole heck of a lot going on there with Sony. It's pretty close to stock here. We got Nougat 7.1, Oreo is expected. I already have updates going on here, so I'm gonna have to get into that and see what's going on there. But yeah, totally digging the fact that it still has that headphone jack there. Just beautiful looking. Beautiful looking. Those buttons are metal, by the way. Just look at that sexiness. I'm going to be taking lots of pictures, shooting lots of video. And I'm going to see what the performance is like with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. You got 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage. That's expandable up to 256. Can't go wrong. I love that 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I really do. I, I love big devices. I don't mind these bezels. I don't mind those bezels at all. I'm old school, man. I, I really dig this form factor right here. I like what they're doing with the new devices. But man, something just always calls me back to this look. And Sony does it right with these corners. The top, bottom flat like that. Just something sexy about what Sony's doing. And I'm hearing they may change their look in future devices. And I I really hope they don't change too much. I really like what they going on, got going on here. And I like that they utilize the bezels with these front dual speakers. I really do. I'm totally digging that. Uh, I don't know if I covered all the specs or not. This is <laughs> the fingerprint magnet back there. Um, but anything I didn't cover, you can ask down below. Uh, this device has been out since June, so a lot of you may know a lot about this device uh, as far as the specs and, and, and a lot, whatever you know it has going on in, underneath the hood that I missed. But um, from what I know, I should really enjoy this device when it comes to media. I know I'm going to enjoy those front dual speakers. 4K display. 4K HDR display. First of its kind. I didn't mention that. I'm going to throw that in. And I know there's not a lot of content for that. But it's nice having it. And if I can get some 4K content to enjoy on this device, then kudos to me. I'm digging it. I know some of you are also saying, hey, the OnePlus 5T just came out. And hey, didn't you not bring in the iPhone X slash X? What happened to that device? Yeah, I'm going backwards here. Because I'm not only looking at the newer devices, but I'm looking at older devices that during the holidays can drop in price. Major drops. This is a major drop. It went from eight to seven at Best Buy, now to 550 smacks. My Moto Z2 Force, there's the device, there's the box, from 750 down to 500 smacks? Are you kidding me? Down to 375 at T-Mobile right now for the holidays? I don't know how long that sale is gonna go on. The Essential? $699, $499, then $449. So, do I go for a newer device or do I go for a killer device that I've been treated with for a while that is dipped from eight to five fifty? dollars I'm telling you, well, and I'm me, man. I'm going to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm very intrigued. If you're interested in this device, go online to Amazon. You can get it for the same price. There's a beautiful red one. Rasu, Rosu is the color, the color red. Just came out a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. It's beautiful, gorgeous. But I didn't want to wait. I wanted to pick mine up. My wife and I went to Best Buy, did some shopping. And here is the Sony Xperia XZ Premium. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Yeah, let's give it a wipe down. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. 
All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Anything you want to know about this device, anything you want me to do with this device, uh, as far as comparisons, uh, the Note 8 is in the house with my son, and the Note 8 is in my house in this house with my wife. So there's two Note 8s in this home, so I can use the Note 8 in comparisons with the Sony Xperia XZ um, Premium, the HTC U11, I got the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge there, I got the Moto Z2 Force there, you can see the other devices there. So, um, yeah, LG V20 shooting this video. So you let me know what you want to see. Have any questions, please ask down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, if you're visiting for the first time, I appreciate it. You know, I ask that uh, that you uh, share this video on your social media. Get me out there, get this video out there. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more. There's definitely more coming. Sony Xperia XZ Premium. Peace, everybody. God bless.